Today I am going to be sharing with you over 100 journal prompts that are going to help you to be more grateful. My name is Kath Kyle from kathkyle.com and I help entrepreneurs to earn more, work less and have more fun in the process. I focus a lot on goal setting and mindset information for entrepreneurs. So if this sounds like something they are interested in, see more videos about then please subscribe to my youtube channel and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on further videos like this so let's get going 100 plus journal prompts for gratitude attract more success these journal writing prompts will help you to write your way to success in business by changing your mindset and attracting things to be grateful for thanksgiving may be a, a seasonal tradition but with journal prompts for gratitude, you'll be encouraged to name and reflect on all things that deserve your utmost appreciation. And why not be grateful? Studies have shown that when we choose to focus on the good things and be thankful, our happiness hormones get activated, our blood pressure drops and our heart rate decreases. This speaks volumes on how we can properly function as entrepreneurs. Sometimes in our haste to get things done and in the midst of business difficulties, we often forget what truly matters, being grateful for even the littlest things. So instead of getting overwhelmed by business matters, I recommend that you start and end your day writing down your thoughts with the aid of these gratitude prompts. Here's a list of 100 plus journal prompts that will help you to attract more positive things into your business than what you're already thankful for. And this has helped me massively in my own business. I actually started off being so grateful for years and my business absolutely soared. Then all of a sudden I stopped being grateful because my circumstances changed and my business just started declining, declining, declining. I finally realized what I was doing and now it is on the up again in a really, really big way. So I really hope that this helps you to bring more things into your life to be grateful for. So you need to get your journals out and just pick a few of these that leap out at you as things that you want to focus on and just write the answers to these in your journals and it'll really help you to feel more gratitude in your life and be more successful in your business. So let's get started. Number one, who are the people that stuck with you from the early days of your business? Two, Think of those who aspire to become like you someday and list the things you have achieved so far that they are yet able to do. They are not yet able to do. Three, which problems in the past have you hurdled? Which lessons did they teach you? Four, how does it feel to have accomplished things at your age? Five, does it warm your heart when your clients recommend you to others? Six, who are the clients who have stayed with you for a long time? Seven, think about the times that you were starting out and list the things that you've overcome along the way. Eight, to whom do you owe the word of mouth the most? Nine, how did your financial standing improve after you started your business? Ten, look back on the times that you had nothing and list down what you have accumulated so far through your business ventures. 11. Ask yourself, what if I did not pursue my business idea? 12. What are the things that make your business ahead of your competitors? 13. How does it feel to have your family well provided for through your business ventures? 14. How does it feel to be debt free? 15. How does it feel to be recognised amongst your community? 16. How far did your business take off in the last five years? 17. What have you gained through your hard work? 18. What business equipment did you acquire that now helps you with your business? 19. How does it feel to finally settle a misunderstanding with your client? 20. How does it feel to have the business loan approved by the bank? 21. List down the accomplishments you have ticked off with your goals so far. 22. Reflect on the times that you were still dreaming of becoming a self-made entrepreneur. 23. 
what is one book about entrepreneurship that you are most thankful to have read? 24. Who is that one friend that helps you fund your business projects? 25. Who in the family are you most thankful for in support of your work as a business person? 26. What is your favourite memory of a client commending your efforts? 27. Which platforms are you most grateful for helping you market your business? 29. What is the one attitude that remains with you in spite of your success? 29. Name the mentor from whom you are indebted for their invaluable business advice. 30. How much do you owe a person that you have now paid off through your hard work? 31. What do you like most about your business model? 32. What do you like most about the place where you established your business? 33. Which dream from your childhood has now become a reality through your business success? 34. What is the one situation that helped you learn a lot from your business? 35. Which business connection are you most grateful to have maintained? 36. To who do you owe your negotiating skills? 37. How does it feel to have the capacity to travel wherever you want because of your business? 38. What did you feel a random stranger discovered about your business and approved of it? 39. Who amongst your team had the most number of deals closed in the last quarter? 40. Which team member has been working hard to help you reach your sales quota? 41. How does it feel to be regarded in the society as a business pioneer? 42. How does it feel to be called a rising star in the industry? 43. How does it feel to be at the forefront of new business trends? 44. Which place have you visited that gave you the most valuable learning? 45. Which place did you once dream of in your childhood and have you now visited for your leisure? 46. Describe a time when you first made the sale. 47. Describe how you felt when your first client approached your business. 48. Who are the top three success gurus you feel indebted to for their knowledge and expertise that you now practice in your business? 49. How would you describe your life <clears throat> before starting your own business? 50. How would you describe your financial standing now? 51. List down five business skills that you are most grateful to have cultivated. 52. What is your favourite routine in your office? 53. Reflect on the time when someone helped you figure out a sticky situation. 54. Which things do you look forward to every day upon finishing your office work? 55. What is your favourite comfort food while doing your, your daily business routine? 56. What is your favourite time of the day at work? 57. What do you like most about the niche that you're specialising in? 58. What do you like most about your target market? 59. Which season makes your business most prosperous? 60. Which season makes you think about business improvements? 61. When was the last time someone in your team made an inside joke? 62. What is one lesson from school that you now put into business practice? 63. How much do you earn now compared to when you were still an employee? 64. How much time do you now get to enjoy compared to when you are still an employee? 65. Which technology are you the most thankful for that helps you streamline your business routine? 66. Which amenities in your business setting are you most fond of? 68. How does it feel to have sufficient funds in your bank account? 68. What are the things that you can buy now that you couldn't afford in the past? 69. How has your health improved since taking your business work lightly? 70. How has your perspective about money changed from when you first started your business? 71. 
Who is the loved one or friend that you can count on the most when it comes to business matters? 72. Who is the one that offered you the springboard to reach your business aspirations? 73. Describe how it feels to have mastered the tasks you used to hate. 74. Describe a time when you thought you couldn't cope but ended up succeeding wonderfully. 75. What is one habit that you're most grateful for that you have cultivated in the practice of your business? 76. Which particular knowledge are you most thankful to have gained so far? 77. Which trade secret helped you survive the challenges in your business? 78. Describe a perfect work day that you have had in a long while. 79. What is one country you dreamed of visiting that you have recently explored through your business? 80. Which business conferences gave you the most valuable lessons? 81. What unsolicited advice have you recently found to be useful for your business? 82. Which YouTube video has helped you sort out a tricky business issue? 83. Which business magazine did you first obtain inspiration to become an entrepreneur? 84. What was one new business idea that proved effective the first time you tried it? 85. List five things about yourself that make you an effective entrepreneur. 86. Describe a time when you were confronted by a client but had successfully patched things up. 87. How does it feel to be able to manage your own time as an entrepreneur? 88. How do you plan to give back to the clients who are loyal to your business? 89. What aspects of your job as an entrepreneur do you enjoy the most? 90. Describe a time when you were able to help another business person through your expertise. 91. What do you love most about being a business person? 92. List down 10 of your favourite possessions and why they hold value to you. 93. Describe a time when people thought you couldn't make it, but you proved them wrong. 94. What do you like most about your peak season? 95. What do you feel grateful for despite a lean season? 96. Do you have a pet that helps you cope with business stress? 97. What app can you not live without because it's part of your business routine? 98. How do you have downtime at home? Does your partner help ease your mind off work? 99. How does it feel to be asked for business advice by younger startups? 100. Compare the level of financial capacity that you once had to the, na to the capacity that you now enjoy. 101. When was your last vacation and how did it help you recalibrate your business focus? 102. What is something that others found difficult but one that you excel in? 103. What is something that others think is impossible but you have overcome? 104. When was the time that you asked for someone's help and you were not disappointed? 105. What gift did you unexpectedly receive from a client? 106. What specific things are you proudest of having achieved through your business? 107. What kind of freedom do you owe from quitting your employee life and working for yourself instead? 108. What does it feel like to be included in the top businesses in your niche? 109. What are the things that remind you of your humble beginnings? 110. What are the things that help create opportunities for your business? So now that you've got the tools that you need to get your mind in the right place for success, you might be looking for the right tools to get your online business set up for success. So I've got a free gift for you that will give you all the tools that I used to create a six figure blog. And this is called the ultimate passive income toolkit. And you can get this by clicking the link below or going to the related blog post and getting your free passive income toolkit there. So in conclusion, practicing gratitude regularly is a good exercise for your mindset and it can help attract more opportunities for your business. 
it is good to be always reminded of the things that bring you joy as well as those that helped transform you into a successful entrepreneur. So I really hope that these journal prompts for gratitude will keep you inspired, motivated, positive and grateful even on the days outside of Thanksgiving. And if you enjoyed this, I've got plenty more videos just like this. So I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you next time.